Hello, and today we're going to finish our drawer. My daughter is helping me today, so she's making me laugh. Sorry. Okay, so I did the base of the paint and let it dry, and then I did the wood stain, and it's dried overnight. Um, so now I'm going to wax it with my dark wax to achieve the look that we're going for, which is to match the coffee table, which is already done. Now, unfortunately, I left my wax outside and it's been hot today, so it's melted, so it's watery. So we're gonna see if watery wax will work as opposed to wax that's not melted. <laughs> and my daughter's trying to get in the video. <laughs> All right, here we go. So. I don't know if this is gonna work or not. I'll try it and see. So this is a wax brush that came with my Annie Sloan um, waxes. It was expensive. You can use any sort of brush. Um, it just has to be washed out immediately after. Or you could even just use a rag and paint it on with a rag. So I'm just going to brush the front of my drawer. And, um, Wax is an oil-based product, so that's why it smells. I want to try. So what you're supposed to do is put the wax on. Hold on, hold on. And um, let it dry, and then rub it. Mm -hmm. Emma, don't play with that. Please. See how it's changed the color already. I guess that this will work. So just brush it on, covering all your areas that you painted. Again, try and brush it on in the direction of the wood grain. This will make it really look messy. Okay. So this is a clean rag. And what I'm going to do is just rub the wax into the finish to achieve the look that I want. So as you see, a lot of the wax will come off. And that's okay. The wax also will protect your paint finish um, or just stain. good when you have a lot of kids or messy husbands. So again, rub the wax into the wood in the direction of the wood grain just to achieve a nice uniform look. Now, if you rub it in and you don't like the way that it looks, you can get your sandpaper and um, take it off a little bit with the sandpaper. I'm just going to do this bottom part right here. Whenever I use this stuff, my nose starts to run, so that's why I'm sniffing. <laughs> basically how I want it. <coughs> I'm just going to use a little bit of the sandpaper, which is a fine grit, it's 220, to, um, where's the sandpaper? Oh, where's the sandpaper? Here it is. And I just cut mine in squares.
when I was in the fifth grade, I made a totem pole out of balsa wood. And we had to sand the balsa wood and sand the balsa wood. And we would go up to our teacher and tell her, hey, my sandpaper's all used. And she would say, no, it's not. There's plenty left. So whenever I use sandpaper, think of her now. Her name was Mrs. Barr. Anyway, so it's hard for me to waste sandpaper because of that. Okay, I know that's a silly story. So I'm just going to rub it in the direction of the wood grain again and see how it's taking, can you see that? How it's taking it off a little bit. And like I said, just the more you layer your wood and work with it, the more you'll get a finish that is unique and something that you will enjoy. finish that um, matches the rest of my coffee table. So that's it for today and I'll see you next time when I do a shabby chic um, tutorial for paint. Thanks. Bye.